Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some exciting news for all you Linux enthusiasts out there. The MX Linux team has just announced the release and general availability of MX Linux 23.3. This is the third stable update in the MX Linux 23 libretto series, which is, uh, you know, that awesome Debian-based distribution we all love. So let's dive into what's new in this latest update. All right, so MX Linux 23.3 comes just four months after the 23.2 release. It's based on Debian Linux 12.5 Bookworm. What this means is that most of the packages, including the long-term supported Linux 6.1 LTS kernel, have been updated to the latest versions from Debian Bookworm's repositories. For those of you who might be experiencing hardware issues with the Linux 6.1 LTS kernel, there's some good news. The AHS, or Advanced Hardware Support Edition, of MX Linux 23.3 now comes with a newer kernel. Specifically, it's the Linux kernel 6, 8.9, and it's offered as a Licorix flavor, which is kind of cool. But wait, there's more. MX Linux 23.3 also introduces some noteworthy changes. For instance, there's a ZSTD compression option for Live Remaster, which is part of the Anti-X Live system. This should make things a bit more efficient. Um, there's also an updated OEM installer mode. This lets users select their system language before the setup even starts, which is super handy. And speaking of languages, there's a new MX Locale function. This function lets you remove all manual packages except the current default system language. It's a great way to keep your system clean and tailored to your needs. Now, for those of you who prefer systemed, this release has a little treat. The systemed init system is now usable on the live system in a, uh, rudimentary fashion via the init equal sign slash libby slash system slash systemed boot code. It's not fully integrated, but it's a step in that direction. The manual has also received some love. It's been updated and divided into language-specific packages, with many languages receiving updates. This should make it easier to find help and documentation in your preferred language. And let's not forget about the Raspberry Pi edition of MX Linux. It's been updated as well, and now includes the latest packages from both the MX Linux and Raspberry Pi OS repositories. So, if you're running MX Linux on your Raspberry Pi, you'll get all the newest goodies too. Now, if you're already using MX Linux 23, you don't need to do a fresh install to get these updates. Just open up your terminal app and run the commands sudo apt update and in sudo apt full upgrade. You can also use a graphical package manager like Synaptic if you prefer. All right, that's all for today's update on MX Linux 23.3. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Linux news and tutorials. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on this update or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.